From CNBC.com, stock market route continues for a second day as Dow falls 300 points. NASDAQ drops 2%. Stocks fell once again on Friday as a sell-off in tech, the best performing market sector in 2020, continued for a second day. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 367 points or 1.3%. Earlier in the day, the Dow was up more than 200 points. The NASDAQ composite dropped 2.1 and the S&P slid 1.5. Over the past two days, the NASDAQ has fallen by more than 7%. Now, I don't want to say that that's not significant. I don't want to downplay the legitimate economic upheaval that this represents, but I do want to do a couple of things to put this in perspective. One, understanding what the stock market is as a kind of bank run casino where they use stocks of companies that they want on their special lists as the chips. And they sucker people into this. You know, you think, oh, only. You know, it's tempting to think, oh, who cares about the stock market? Only rich people are invested in the stock market. Well, it's not really true because they fooled so many Americans into having investment funds and retirement funds that are tied to the stock market. But there's one other thing that's really important to put this in perspective. The unemployment numbers, by any measure percentage-wise, are far greater than this. And yet this is what people are freaking out about. Not that people were freaking out about unemployment, but hey, look, rich people are losing money too. And yes, it's it's still mostly rich people. The difference in the stock market casino game, the racket of it, is that if you're some poor schlub who's just putting money in because your financial advisor told you and it's automatically withdrawn from your paycheck into some mutual fund tied to the stock market, you don't get to nimbly move around and anticipate these big swings. The major players do, and inevitably the little guy gets screwed, crushed. And every time there is a major upheaval like this, you hear horror stories about people uh, you know, losing their retirement. And you know what? It's gotten really bad. I got to combine this with another story, Jim, skipping ahead one to CNBC.com. Majority of workers expect their retirement to include a job, survey says. <coughs> wow. Okay. It's, yeah. Okay. That's that your retirement has a job in it. Hmm. Yeah. More than half of workers say one of the reasons they want to continue working in retirement is the positive influence it would have on their mental well being, according to a new survey. Others say they would work during their golden years to benefit their financial situation. That's, that's a nice way of saying to avoid desperation, living on fixed income, depending on government. Many workers also would prefer to save more for retirement than, can be, than be completely debt free. Now, why do we not have sufficient retirement in America? Why, why, why are Amer like we are, we want to do this? It's not that Americans are irresponsible. There's actually a disincentive for savings built into the system that I, I really do have to point out in order to make this point, that if you save dollars and they're continuously losing value to inflation, why save? When credit is easy so that the banks can own everything, why not you know, leverage yourself? Why not, why not, you know, more, you know, get some mortgages and some loans and, 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 and then be trapped on that debt wheel, making payments and furthering the power of the banks over you. But why, why do we not have adequate retirement compared to, for what we're capable of economically, technologically, organizationally, culturally, yada, 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 politically, even why is, why is our retirement system as shitty as it is it's not just all of these economic manipulations although i would say this is one of them but it's also because we have socialized retirement it's even right there in the name social security 